My Heart Leaps Up by William Wordsworth, 1770 to 1850. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began, so is it now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old, or let me die. The child is father of the man, And I could wish my days to be Bound each to each by natural piety. OK, let's see. This poem is by William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth is um, one of the top British poets. Um, he's always uh, talking about nature and the beauty of nature and um, I think I would define this poem as um, rom a romantic lyric poem. Yeah. Um, let's see, w Wordsworth came from Cumberland uh, which is a, a beautiful place. It's a place with beautiful nature and um, nature is for him is something that is awesome. It's something that uh, fills his heart with awe. So let's see, what's the poem about? Okay, the poem is is saying that he wants to always have the um, the childish element uh, in himself. It's something that it must always, uh, it's something for him that's very important uh, to keep alive, yeah? Um, and he wants to appreciate and be awed by nature um, all through his life, just as he was when he was a child. And here I think the rainbow itself, the rainbow is symbolizes nature and it is a connection between uh, Wordsworth and his spiritual self. I think it might also be a mm, alluding to um, the rainbow that Noah saw when uh, the great flood was over. Okay, so let's see, let's look at it in more detail. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So I feel really, really good. I feel um, imbued with happiness. I feel really great um, when I see a rainbow. Um, and for me to see a rainbow is a beautiful thing. So was it when my life began? So is it now? I am a man. Okay, so this, I think, he is talking about the um, permanence of nature. Nature is something that g lasts through the ages. And he felt like this when his life began. So he felt really good, really happy, really wonderful when he saw a rainbow. And the same is true now that he's a man. Um, and this goes on with, so be it when I shall grow old or let me die. So he's now saying he really hopes that when he's old, um, he will also feel uh, great awe and great wonder at seeing a rainbow. Um, so if you look, he starts with these three lines with so, so, so. Um, and this, by starting all three lines, he's linking when his life began, the child with the man, with the old man, with the adult, with the old man. And by starting the, the three lines with that, and so was it, so is it, so be it, um, he's change, changing the tense, but he's keeping continuity. Um, he wants to, this continuity to continue all through his life. Or let me die. 
yeah if i don't feel this awe and wonder for the beauty of a rainbow then i would rather be dead yeah i would rather not not survive yeah um i i had he he was a great uh lover of nature when he was a child and he still is now he's a man and he hopes that this is uh true when he grows old because um he doesn't want to lose this wonderful feeling because nature for him is the most beautiful thing and i think this rainbow it's can was well, seeing this rainbow it connects him with the spiritual world it connects him with uh god yeah and for him this rainbow the as a symbol of nature is saying that nature is the most wonderful thing the child is father of the man so this is a really good line it says the child is the father of the man so if you look at this this is a metaphor and he's um what he's saying is the child comes before the man the the child that is makes the man uh who comes later so the characteristics of the child um are seen in the uh in the man um and well this has lo lots of uh, implications because yes um children come from parents but also the adult comes from the the child from the child the ch the feeling of a child and a child can be a great role model uh and a teacher for um the adult and uh, uh we must never lose contact with that child inside it because um children are they experience the world for the first time and they have this feeling of awe and wonder about the world and this is something that he wishes never to lose and then he goes on and i wish my days to be bound to each other bound each to each by natural piety so and he hopes for the future he hopes to continue um to feel wonder and awe about nature i love this phrase natural piety this this is saying that nature is a uh, god yeah the the natural world around us is a god in itself um and he he's saying that his feelings for nature are something holy and uh he hopes that everyone feels like that because um each of the days of our life are joined together uh with this love of nature with this um spiritual experience and i also think it's saying that we shouldn't lose contact uh with nature which is something perhaps we are doing okay so i could wish i would love my days i hope that all of my days um one after the other um i continue to feel wonder and awe about nature and about the things around me so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now my heart leaps up by william wordsworth